In yoga, you're moving through some intense poses. Sometimes you're continually moving and sometimes you're coming into a place and holding it. And either way, you need to keep right present in that moment. And the breath is the tool that we use in yoga. So we always bring our attention back to our breath so we can focus on what the body is doing. But if you're, if you're say, holding a chair posture, which is like a squat, and you're holding that for a while, you start to feel the burn in your legs, and you learn how to relax and breathe and stay right there on that edge of intensity. And when you're moving into a balance pose on one leg, which would be obviously a great practice for skiers, you're learning how to come back to the center and focus and stay there. Because when your mind starts to wander, it's when you go spilling out of the pose. You could move in and out of Utkatasana with the breath. Utkatasana is chair pose. It's your basic stance in skiing. It's moving toward a squat. There are some elements of alignment that would be really useful to lock in before you head out onto the mountain, thinking of the knees pointing straight forward over the toes so you don't have a conflict and some stress on the hinge joint, thinking of holding the back in an appropriately neutral position so that you're not slumping forward up top, but nor are you, stress, are you stressing the lower back by increasing the lumbar curve. So there's a good one to come in and out of. You can exhale and sink down with the breath and inhale, come up and exhale, sink down a few times. You can also add a twist to chair pose, which makes it a lot more challenging and will help warm up in the hips. You can move from there toward Garudasana, eagle pose, which is a one-legged balance stance where you get all twisted like a pretzel. You cross your legs, you cross your arms. That really helps with focusing too because you have to click in and say, okay, what is my body doing right now and what needs to shift to help me keep my center of balance right here. Another great warm-up is Virabhadrasana 3, Warrior 3, which is um, similar to some of the, of the moves that I see you make with your athletes. It's um, folding forward with one leg and trying to line up your spine and your leg parallel with the ground. It's a great way to click into gluteus medius, which is going to really help with your hip stability out on the slopes. Also a great core strengthener and just kind of muscle activator, get those neural pathways firing right. So those are three really good ones. Chair pose, eagle pose, warrior three, all pretty powerful standing poses that would make a great dynamic warm up before skiing. In the Athlete's Guide to Yoga, I talk about how yoga can help improve athlete strength and flexibility and focus. And the strength component is, uh, from yoga comes from working with your body weight. But there are also some moves that are almost ballistic that can help skiers with power. There's a huge component of yoga that's flexibility. That's the first thing that comes to mind. We think of putting our feet behind our heads and tying ourselves up in pretzel knots. So having a full range of motion is obviously critical for avoiding injury and for accessing all of your potential as a skier. And then also focus is a huge aspect of yoga. Being with the breath, staying in the moment, and that's critical for avoiding acute injury out on the mountain. In the back of the Athlete's Guide to Yoga is a short DVD. It has a yoga warm-up and yoga cool-down. Um, that is a, a sample of what you'll find on the full-length DVD, except on the short DVD it's just me, and on the full-length DVD I have two models who show an easier version and a more sophisticated version or a deeper expression of each of the poses so that athletes can pop it in the computer, the DVD player, and see every version of the pose at once. Because some of us might be really good at the strength poses and not so good at the flexibility poses. They might be following the level one model in some parts and the level three in others and coming along with me in still others. The DVD is divided into 20 segments and those can be programmed any way you like. So they're preset into three routines, but you can also go in and use this matrix and plug in whatever you want to do. So if you just wanted to lie on the ground for two hours, you could play that over and over again. Or if you wanted to do a huge core blowout or just work exclusively on balance poses and hip openers, you can go in and plug those in. So I think it's really useful because it's never going to have to be the same thing over and over again.